how you're doing. So thought I'd try something a little bit different for the intro today. So we're inside the car. So it makes a change, doesn't it? Uh, this week's update, we are, I don't want to call it part 13. I might jinx something. So it's part 12.5 and we'll skip to part 14 next week. Um, <clears throat> so in this update, uh, we get the last arch back on the car, so the near side front. Uh, unfortunately, I forget, forgot to hit record on the time lapse there, so I don't have that bit. All I can say about that was the studs which hold the the repair studs I've got which hold the arch in. Uh, I had to drill the holes a little bit deeper on the arches to get them in all the way. Uh, and also used a bit of Araldite just to secure them in because they were a little bit loose in the holes. But they're back on now, wax oiled behind the wheel arch there so that should be good. And uh, this week also I finished off the boot, so uh, done some paintwork where we've welded the patch in the offside rear wheel arch, uh, wax oiled over that and I fitted the optimised boot kit. Uh, we're very very nearly there now, so at the end of the video I just gave the car a quick wash. There are some little niggly bits I need to get done, I haven't done the front arches yet, I'm probably going to wait until a nice day, uh, a little bit later on in... Uh, hopefully early March where I can get the car outside and do it. I really don't want to make a mess in the workshop to do that. Uh, aside from that, thoughts turn to the show season now. So a couple of weeks left to go till March. Uh, I'll tax the car then and put it back on the road. So I'm really looking forward to taking it out again for a drive. It's been a while now. Uh, and I think the first show for me is going to be uh, Brooklyn's mini show. Can't remember off my head uh, when that is. I think it's middle end of March. So if any of you guys are going, it'd be great to see you there. It really would. And now things are coming to an end on PL. It's time to start work on Vinny. So next week's update, hopefully, will be some work on Vinny. Uh, I'm going to go down where it's stored. Uh, I've got a few few bits to do on that. Some quite major work. So I'm fitting a carbon fibre roof on that. So hopefully I'll be able to get that done next weekend. But we'll see how it goes. Sorry guys, I forgot one last thing. Uh, I can't believe it. We're literally five subscribers of having 500 subscribers to the channel. So that's that's pretty amazing really. And I think by the time we update next week, we'll be over the 500 mark. So really pleased with that. Thanks for your support. And just to help get those five last subscribers, every famous YouTuber has a pug. So I thought I'd get Reggie involved to help boost subscriptions. So <laughs> cheers guys. See you next time. Wow, that was difficult to get off. That's going to be horrible to clean up. <laughs> That's just had uh, spray glue or adhesives put on it. Uh, loads and loads and loads of it on top of it. So it's obviously come loose in the past and people just keep adding stuff on top. So yeah, that's going to be fun. <laughs> um, and I'm just looking at the carpet to go back in actually. This is the optimised one. Um, it's not bad. Um, but it's all they give you to hold it on with is double sided sticky tape as you can see already that's just coming off there's no way that's going to hold that on so not sure if I'll use that because the original one that's on there albeit it was loose as you can see it's really nicely finished around the edges and stitched um, so, and, it's, and it's just better fitted so just need to find a better way of sticking that on without having it a real mess like it was before and I think I'll use the original one also just before I start putting the boot line in and as well I just need to do something with this bit of welding that was inside the arch there so just probably just need to etch prime of that and uh, put something over it just to protect it wow that was not a very easy area to mask up <laughs> um, but I just want to get something on it I don't want to leave it bare metal uh, it's fairly well wax oiled inside the boot, so we'll spray it, get something on it, and then wax oil it. So first time in a few months, that's the back end, all back in, seats back in, door bins back in. Uh, while the door bins were out, uh, just had a good look, clean around them, wax oiled inside them. Used the borer scope to look down the channels on the inside of the seals, just to make sure there wasn't any filler or bodged up repairs, and it all looks good. So quite pleased with that. 
Next job, uh, I think one for the summer, is to have a go at the headlining because it's really dirty and grubby. It looks horrible when you look up. Don't know how I'm going to challenge that yet, whether I'll put a new headline in it or whether I'll try cleaning that one. Wow, that's really a difficult place to mask up, but the etch primer's dry now. Give that 24 hours and we'll just put a bit of colour on it. I don't think I'll bother lacquering because this is inside the car. Uh, once the boot panel's in, you're never, never going to see this, so it's really just for a bit of protection. So time to fit the Optimize boot lining kit. Um, just interestingly, some people have mentioned in previous videos about my attention to detail. Really, thanks for that, really appreciate that. Some people even, even suggested that I might have a little bit of OCD and I don't know what I'm going on about, but I did manage to get this purple screen wash to match the rest of the colour of the car. So there's the Optimize kit laid out. It's pretty self-explanatory really. I've just laid it out there how it goes into the car. So we've got the uh, base part which goes over the spare wheel. We've got the backboard, uh, we've got the cover for the tank, and this bit wraps around the tank itself with a cutout to where the uh, boot cable is, and, and this board is, is bendy, so it bends around the tank there. So that's quite straightforward. On the other side, we've got the cover over the right-hand side of the corner, and that's the uh, liner for inside the back of the boots. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to use the original one just because it's finished a little bit better and it uh, seems nicer quality. Aside from that as well, the backboard, um, I don't need that because it's already got one in there. Uh, it's got an amplifier in there which has been in there for quite a few years, so I'm just going to reuse that really. There's no point putting a new one in. Okay, so that's the boot install done. Picnic basket back in there. I don't really, don't often use a picnic basket, but it just, I don't know, looks a bit period. <laughs> Comes in handy every now and again. Um, it wasn't too bad to fit, it didn't take too long. I had to do a bit of uh, fettling up around the top here because I've got six by nine speakers. So uh, just had to cut a little groove out of there to get it to fit. And I had to cut a U shape out the baseboard here just because the jack it's sort of T-shaped and it runs up inside the offside arch there. So I just had to notch that a bit so the jack could go back in there. But overall, quite pleased. It probably does want a bit more fettling just to get it to fit perfectly and so it doesn't rattle around and come loose. Um, <clears throat> and then all I've got to do now is some way get this better fixed on there because as soon as there's a hot day, I mean it's st stuck on at the moment, but... I'm sure it will just come off when it's a warm day again. I was thinking I might repurpose these badges actually. Just put them up in the corners. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> um, be a shame to throw them away, but you know, might clean up all right. It probably only wants a couple of fixings just to stop it coming loose, but yeah, I'm quite pleased. Looks okay. Mm -hmm. 